Welcome YouTube viewers to a new video tutorial from VPNs and Routers. This is going to be a quick video to demonstrate overclocking a Netgear R7000 Nighthawk router running the Tomato firmware. The main reason for overclocking this router is basically while running a VPN you're going to get faster download speeds. This is simply down to encryption being handled by the CPU of the router. So the faster the CPU runs, basically the faster download you're going to get. Now before we start, let me just say from the outset that if you follow this tutorial you do it at your own risk. Please don't come crying to me if you soft brick your router for trying to push it too far. Without further ado, let's just jump straight on in there. Open a, a browser of your choice. I'll try and get this done as quickly as possible for you. So 192.168.1.1 in this case. If you've changed yours from the default um, IP, please uh, obviously insert your, uh, your correct IP. So you can click enter there. Now admin and admin again. Now if you've changed that again please enter your details I'm sure you're aware of that. Now as you can see here the clock frequency at the moment is a thousand. Now it is running a VPN tunnel so if you go to VPN clients and you'll see the status it's running. Now what I will do was just <coughs> you can see it's connected to LogiWeb, which is basically a PIA VPN, one of the cheapest on the market and probably, in my opinion, one of the best. There are dearer ones out there, but I'm going to change it to Vorbs. Now, I always tend to, well, Vorbos, I always tend to use this server. It doesn't matter which server you use, what I recommend is stick with one and then you'll have a good comparison. So we'll just do a quick speed check. Bear in mind, this is an unclocked router set at 1000, which is the clock standard clock speed for the... Um, the R7000 and as you can see it's pretty poor really it's most probably do 44 now the speed without a without the speed test uh, sorry the speed without a VPN is about 67 megabytes download so you can see we're losing quite a bit here once that speed check the upload finish so obviously it never really affects the upload too much so the download at the moment is 43.85. So let's just go back to here. Okay, we're going to type into here putty. If you haven't got it, I'll leave a link in the description. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, type your, your IP, your router. So 192.168.1.1. You want to set it to port 22 or make sure you select SSH, port 22, and click open. You want to log in as root. Don't know if that's if we make it any big. It's not going to help. Um, if, enter root. Enter, and then put your password in. In this case, admin. And click enter again. Now, first of all, what I would do is bring up your clock speed. So, you want NV RAM space get space CLK for clock and FREQ for frequency. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you'll see it's 1000, well, 1 gigahertz or 1000 megahertz the CPU set at and 800 for the RAM. Now don't overclock your RAM or else it'll default to 400. Uh, just be aware of that, guys. Now, what I would recommend on the R7000, this is a difficult one. I would recommend don't go higher than 1200. I've run routers at 1400 and they've run fine, but I have also overclocked some at 1400 and they've soft bricked. So type in NV RAM. I'll leave all these commands in the description so you can just copy and paste them. Set CLK FREQ. So we're setting the frequency. So you want to put equals. So now you want 1200, comma, 800, and hit enter. Now, if you press the upwards key on your keyboard, that will actually go to that one and press it again and just check your clock frequency. So at the moment, we're not saved anything and it's 1200, 800, which is correct. So we're going to go NVRAM, Comet, C-O-M-M-I-T, space, and and, reboot. So until you hit enter, guys, nothing's saved. So if you hit enter, it's going to reboot. I most likely cut this bit of the video because it's going to take two minutes or whatever to reboot. Okay, after it's rebooted, just let the lights just settle down for a moment. It takes about two or three minutes. So just to make sure we're back in, just going to refresh the browser. Okay, now you'll see the clock frequency now is 1200 megahertz. 
Now, as I say, clock frequency is 1200. You can push it if you want, but just be aware that if you do, you really, really, really need um, a serial cable just in case you do brick the, the router to recover it. Now, we'll be doing a recovery video at some point in the future, so just watch out for that one. Now, just going to uh, do a quick speed check. We've still got the, the old uh, speed check on here. Now, same server, same everything. So we've gained just under just under nine just by simply overclocking it. Now that overclock is a safe overclock as well as I say twelve hundred's fine. You never have any issues on the R seven thousand. But be aware guys, if you do do it, do it at your own risk. So from there I'm gonna leave it for now. Please remember to like the video if it's helped you and subscribe to the channel. There will be more videos coming. If you hit the little bell, that'll actually uh, notify you when we've uploaded new video guides. And obviously if it's helped you, please give us a thumbs up. We're going to leave it there, and thank you very much for watching.